Okay, we're just leaving English and now we're going to head down to the science labs and to the art classrooms. Follow me. Now you'll see as we head around the corner where we are in the school, the gym is there, the amphitheatre, which is the area that is at the year 7 and 8 yard, is just below us there. You've got a good view there of the area that belongs to year 7 and year 8 and you'll also see the tennis course there just above it. We'll head down to science now. Here you'll see the library. We're upstairs behind the library and we're heading down to science. Now I'll show you one lab because they all pretty much look the same. Come on, hurry up! So this is one of our science labs. You'll notice simple differences between the science lab and a normal classroom. Here we've got benches, we've also got stools rather than chairs. There are sinks because obviously when we do experiments in this classroom you need to be cleaning up after yourselves. These things here are gas taps. Gas taps obviously are used because we use Bunsen burners that burn the gas in order to do the experiments. And you'll see in the cupboards here some of the basic equipment that we use. So we've got microscopes that you'll get to use. Uh, and then other kind of basic science equipment you've probably seen in lots of films. Scary laboratories and things like that, like test tubes, beakers, pipettes, etc. I'm saying etc because those are the only names that I know of operators in the science lab. And again, you can see where we are, look. We're right above the amphitheatre area. And then some lovely displays then of habitats and biology. So we've got various descriptions here of the human anatomy. Okay, follow me. Mr. Skews keeps on going on about something about black holes or something. Um, I think he's talking a load of nonsense. Um, are you trying to tell me you saw something? Don't be so ridiculous. It's just a science room, man. Come on, we've got other places to go to. Okay, year six. I hope you enjoyed the science lab. We're going to head over to art now. So if you follow me, and I'll point out a few things on the way around. Now obviously all of these classrooms in the science corridor are science labs. But science is split up into three subjects. They are physics, chemistry and biology. And you'll do each of those as you go through the years. You can see where we are now, behind the library. And we're heading further back into the school, down to the art department. You can see this is art way. And if you have a look at the walls here, you can see some of the amazing artwork that's been completed by our pupils here. Not just individual pieces of work, I might add. Some of the work here was completed by groups of pupils. So this mural here is a tribute to Joseph Herman, who is a Polish artist who settled in Astrogunnice and painted the miners. And this is in his style and created by a group of pupils in Kutawa. You'll also note some of the projects that the pupils have been involved in in the community. And as we go into Mr. Herdman's art classroom, I'm sure you'll be struck by some of the amazing work that's on display on the walls. Take a look around. Some fantastic work. Some scary work over there as well. Now then, the great thing about 
being in the secondary school is that in primary school you stay in one classroom with the same teacher in secondary you move around the building and you have different teachers who are specialists in particular subjects so whether it's science or art you'll have a classroom that's set up specifically for that subject uh, with a teacher who's a specialist in teaching that subject if you've got a passion for art I know you're going to want to spend a lot of time up here during the lunch times and break times as well. Now if you follow me, and I'll take you back the way we came, but I'm going to speed this up so that it's not too boring for you. So no laughing at my funny run or walk, and I'll see you when we get back up to English. Six. No running in the corridors. Oh. Follow me now then. We're heading now into the languages department. You'll note, just like the other areas of the school, languages, all of the classrooms here begin with an L and they're all numbered 1 to 10. Similar to other year groups, our five small groups to make up the big school, this is where the current year 10 or new year 11 in September are based. So they've been here for the last four years and their history is all over the walls. All the things that they've been involved in surrounds them. All of the classrooms on this corridor are languages classrooms. So that's Welsh, French, and German. We're going to head down now through the languages faculty and we are directly above the humanities faculty where we started. So we're coming all the way back to the front of the school. And I think you can see where we are now right at the very front of the school, heading back down the humanities faculty. This is Mrs. Parkhouse's RE classroom, where we started our tour with Mrs. Keane and Mr. Williams. All of the classrooms on this corridor will be your form rooms. And in the humanities faculty, we teach history, geography, and RE. My subject is history. And you can see, we're back where we started. Back with Mrs. Keane and Mr. Williams. Now then, I'm a bit tired after that. I think I need to go and have a lie down. Really looking forward to seeing you soon, year six. All the best. <laughs>